Warning, this is a pest control video and it will show pests being controlled with air rifles. If this is likely to offend you, then please stop watching now. For the rest of you who like these type of videos, let's get on with the action. Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Pontypool Pest Control. In today's video, we're going to be returning to my new permission on the golf course. There is plenty of rabbits here and they like to dig up the greens and shit wherever they like. There is no shortage of rabbits on this permission, and they're not hard to find. You can see all the rabbit runs in the long grass. Taking your time to walk your permissions, and look for active roots or lots of mud patches in the grass that's full of rabbit shit, will save you time working out at night where to find them, and it'll help you get bigger bags. Before we get into the action, let's take a quick look at the kit I'm going to be using. My rifle choice is the FX Impact Mark 1 in 177 caliber and the scope is the pad 008 lrf this combo is ideal for all my needs the gun is very accurate and gives a shot count of 5 to 700 shots per fill the magazine holds 38 shots this saves me having to reload all the time and the scope never loses zero and the footage is pretty good to help take the weight of the rifle I also use a sling or a strap, whatever you prefer to call it. It's very easy to connect and comfortable when carrying your rifle. Now that your hands are free, you can also carry your trigger sticks and start spotting with your thermal. I would like to say a big thank you to H&N Pellets for sending me lots of tins to test. These are the Barracuda 8. They're the same weight as the JSBs, 8.44 grains. I do like the idea of the screw on lids, it saves us from spilling the tin as well as keeping them all in perfect condition. They're very accurate and the pellet quality just speaks for itself. I would also like to say a big thank you to Bryanite for sending me a new IR, the T28. In most of my videos, the video quality has come from the T18. I found this IR very good even at the longer ranges. Let's put the T28 onto the rifle and look what it has to offer. With this IR, we now have a choice between 850 and 940, so you can change with one flick for whatever your needs. It also got an added torch to help you collect your quarry. All of the modes can be turned up and down with a dimmer on the back, and it can be turned on and off with one touch of the button. A question I always get is how far do I zero? If I am shooting rabbits, I zero at 40 yards. We don't see many rabbits under this range, unless the rabbits have never been hunted before, or we get a little lucky when we're stalking. Not only that, 20 yards is still my zero. 45 yards is zero, but 50 and 55 have a little hold over. I don't recommend long range shooting, as the wind comes into play, as you'll see a bit later on in the video. Now this is what I mean with long range shooting. You should only ever shoot at distances you're comfortable with. The wind was strong and it was switching all the time. I seen the first shot land. I had to aim on its ass to make the clean kill. First shot of the evening. Cracking headshot. Had to give it a lot of wind. Tonight we come out. I did check the forecast. I didn't think it was going to be as windy as it is. But uh, me and the deputy were just plodding on. I want to show too much. Yeah. Nice clean kill. Me and the deputy's on it. Me and the deputy is on it.
this rabbit, just only a young one. So when you shoot them, even though it's nice clean headshots, they always tend to jump about. I just managed to find him now in the grass with a thermal. So we're just gonna carry on now and hopefully bag a few more. Well, I've been ringing the new deputy, couldn't get hold of him. Finally found him. Look at this. Two rabbits as well with his new gun and his new scope. What have we got to see, Di? Stone dead. <laughs> All my kit's getting soaking wet tonight, but it's going to be worth it. So far, this is the second rabbit. This shot was 51 yards. Nice and clean head shot again. A lot of blood in his ear, showing that it's a good humane kill. Right guys, let's get on with the next. Me and the deputy, over and out. Now this is what you call a double header. One there, one there. Can't get too close. Quite a lot of blood coming out of them. And uh, YouTube then will end up taking the videos down. But nice clean head shots. Let's carry on and see if we can get any more. Sheriff on a all nighter. The deputy dealer like, catching a few flies. <laughs> Thank you very much to everyone who's made it this far into the video. I really do appreciate your support for the channel. This video was a few outings with the deputies. We all had a good crack as well as filling out the rabbit numbers. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing, not to miss out on any of my upcoming videos. I have decided to have a website made. Somewhere I can post all the uncensored parts of the videos, as well as an hunting gallery, field target gallery, a for sale section and so much more. I will keep you all updated upon release. Thank you very much for watching, keep safe, until next time, all the best, Pontypool Pest Control, aka The Sheriff, your sub 12 foot pound king.